Two, so let me fix that real quick. Welcome to Red Dead or Fallout Shelter. <laughs> so I know it's only broadcasting the microphone, so we're going to fix this real quick. So please just give me one moment to fix the introduction there. Uh, I kind of, it kind of typoed the. Uh, I did, I did, it just kind of messed up there. And there we are. We got a better, we got a way better thing now on the on the grid there. It shows what we're playing. Fallout Shutter Grind. Now, what I've been doing, I haven't been doing too much. Now, only the one thing I have been doing since I got my base up, uh, the one thing I have been doing is I've turned all my re, uh, power plants into reactors. And I've turned, I've been trying to work on turning all my, uh, what would you call it, your, like your uh, restaurants like this into greenhouses see so i've been turning them in and i've been upgrading these these schools like this this school for strength see these guys are about full so what i do is then and the one thing this gives you coins too as you know as you keep going you want to have it but you want to get this leveled up and you just wait for capping you want to finish the cappy missions all so see the power plants are looking good the, the places like this are looking good so and then what all I do is I like to go to these places and just rush them one time get my co coins see because I'm just trying to I'm just trying to keep my uh, just trying to keep my coin level get my coin level up so I can expand and do a little more and of course you want to kind of keep your uh, you kind of want to keep in perspective this the storage space which is decent and you you know you want to get rid of this kind of junk here but I've been keep making these rifles and uh, and uh, you know you you don't really want to go over one time you don't want to go too much in this this thing and you can build weapons I've been building a, quite a few weapons you know in case I get attacked but uh, yeah and nothing wrong with that I got a lot of storage space here but I also got a lot of uh, I've got all super reactors now and you know of course you can build all these super weapons now and of course now that I got uh, now that I got the well see this is at 12% this should not never be a fail but it can be it could be a fail you you never know really and this one right here see is the plant where you get all the eye now I won't get the packs which is a damn shame but I will get the coins you know but that's okay just do it one time just to get the packs and I'm not gonna build a weapon but I can I can even do this plant here it might fail it fell, but that's okay. Let it fail. It's no big deal to me. It's uh, no big deal. Now, I got a creature in there, and it don't seem to take them all. I need to put another player in there, like this person here. Now, as these got, see, as these players here, these are all usually high-end players. These are players that I'm working on. Or, well, it's these players. See, these ones, I'm building up their uh, units. You know, and I'm putting through the schools and stuff. Some of them's just walking through, but most of these ones that's really high, I'm going to level them up. Then I'll move other people in, like these folks right here just walking around. You know, I'll just move them in. Now, you want to wait for Cappy. And, of course, I got a lot of these things here uh, working. I've been working on these, uh, some of this stuff. You know, some of the stuff I'm not high enough to worry about it yet. So the one thing I'm you'll want to shoot for is this later, but I ain't even level 50 yet on any of my dwellers. So I definitely want to work on some of this stuff here, definitely that and that. But you know, some of these things I got going, but you only want to work on one at a time. You know, say like, um, you know, and you want to send your if you get these little robots when they get up to f about five thousand, you want to you want to call them back. See, now he ain't gonna be back for another day. So tomorrow someday, a day in 10 minutes, so he'll be back tomorrow at, right now it's 8.30 p.m., he'll be back about 8.40 p.m., so tomorrow evening he'll be back and I can get 5,000 coins. They only carry 5,000 coins, but likewise, I can send these people into this whack-a-mole, like here. Now you can call them back, but when you get them back, see, you send them out, don't get all your team members coming back at one time, or you're gonna have a big problem with uh, equipping med packs. I got plenty of weapons, but I don't have the med packs. And you know, you only have 35 of them things as you level up. But you can equip them with guns and stuff. So this don't look like a too bad one. It could be, 
you know, it could be a bad one. It depends how much resistance you run into. Now, the moles are never bad, these rats. Oh, yeah, and they're all pistols, too, by the way. Yeah, so that, that might make it a little rougher. So that's going to be a little more challenging. This, this mission here is all about pistols. That's probably why I never played it. But I'm playing it because I'm kind of running out of things to have them do. And, of course, they don't seem like they're going down too quick. But, you know, it's such a low-level map, you know, that creatures are not that high of a level. But, see, I was running out of stem packs when I sent them out, you know. But I got the kitty with him. The kitty is a uh, hell. And this animal is a wasteland cap maker. And this one's a uh, healing speed. So all of it's going to work out, you know. So... You know, so make them make it make it work. Now I'm not going to use that because you know it wouldn't be right to use. Hey, a dead rat on the floor! How how charming! <laughs> All right, I love their I love their uh, banter. Well, let's go be not but these stupid mole rats. Now the thing is, I'm not. I guess I could use one of them. It'll get rid of one of them. Yeah, get him down to where you can. You know, it's best to have them tag team one. Yeah, it's best to have them tag team one. And that way, you can shine there out so she don't get bit, healed. She gets down to about to the, uh, in between the S and the P, I'll give her a little life. But until then, I'm not going to do too much. Now, he's down there, so I'll give him a little boost. And, uh, yeah. So that worked out pretty good, yeah. So she's close enough, I'll give her a little punch. Noise. So, yeah, there you have it. You just got to go through all this banter. And, you know, I guess they're going to give you a lot of these, so you might as well use them. I'll get, I guess I'll have him help her out. You could make them all work on one, and then when they get done, they'll help the other character out. So, yeah, they're doing pretty good here on this. So, yeah, they're, they're, they're doing pretty good. So they definitely got him weakened now, so it don't seem like they're taking him down, so that's okay too. So there you go, you got almost there, so you gave him a bottle. So I don't know which way to go first. I think I'll go downstairs just simply for the fact. Now a lot of these clothes I'll sell or break down. Because I don't really need all them clothing. It just takes up a lot of space. I'm, I decided to go down the lower floors just because, you know. Now, once this is over, you'll have one of the main missions done. So, that's always exciting. You get you get them done, that's even better. So, see, this is going to come over and take you place, of course. Looks like all of them's got one. So, they all might take a kind of a hit on this. He seems to be pretty tough. He's level 40, though. But he's a level 42, and she's a level 39. So, it ain't like they're not any good. And this one can go down a good bit. I, you can actually let them go down to an S, and one one health pack will heal them. So it's un, unreal, you know. So I think, yeah, they're all they're all going to help her now. So that's good. Yeah, she's shooting him like crazy. And of course, these all are going to. They're all going to do this fresh coat of paint. So see, they're going to go through it, and you get all kinds of coins. So we're up to 225 coins. The coin, coins ain't worth Now we're going to take on roaches, I guess. So, yeah. So this guy here will be the first one you heal. He's already down a third of the way. He can get down to about the right under the S and P. You can give him a shot of uh, life. I'm not going to use this thing on him. I don't think it would be... It don't matter. So we'll let him handle with the 32. I just don't think it's time to use a... Uh, it's not time to use a uh, health pack yet. May wait a little bit until they get down there a little bit. So I think they can handle that out on their own. And there ain't nothing here, so just keep on keeping on. And it looks like it's just more than looks like looks like pigs, but it's really uh, mice that are. Uh, so we'll we'll hit this one. Don't look like I did a very good job there. It looks like there's more in it in this one than the previous. Now, now they're probably going to use a little bit more ump on them. So I can definitely fill him up. And we'll go ahead and hit them all one lick. 
because they're going to be in this challenge phase. So we'll we'll take out the leader. But once they take out the leader, I think it's going to be better for them. Yeah, so get rid of him. And uh, she's fine. We'll help her get rid of that one. But once they get far enough, they're, they're they're pretty good shape. I don't think we'll have to worry about them in this room, right in this level. Maybe get down a couple more places, then you then we'll have to worry about it. Maybe. So see, you get a pistol, which is bogus. That gun is pretty worth. But we got three of them packs, so that's good. We got a so it's complete. There it is, whack a mole. It's done. But I I don't like to just stop right there. I like to finish it because you can get other prizes. You know, see if you didn't come down here, you wouldn't get this other stuff, and you can destroy it, break it down, or sell it. Either one, it's going to give you more. Uh, you know, it's going to give you more, more things to work with to build, more weapons, more more items. So you never want to just say, "Hey, I completed. It's time to go back." No, 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 no. So what I'll do is I'll send them back, and I don't buy none of the the bottles. I every now and then I'll buy six pack, what for ninety nine cents, but. That ain't no big deal. That ain't no big waste of money to me, but I'm not paying $39 for an unlimited uh, whole bogus supply of packs and stuff, so I'm just not going to do it. It ain't, it ain't worth my time to do that. I'm not going to do it. I wouldn't expect no one else to do it. So since I got a few extra stem packs, now when they go back, remember these guys are, so you can use all the stem packs you want. Use as many as you wish. Cause I'm, you, I've already got 35 see at the base, so regardless, I'm gonna be it'll, it'll just be wasting some. So you you can use them all, but if you got them, they're de they're not gonna gain, gain anything. I think they ought to take a cap of like at least 60 stem packs, 60 of the one stem packs, and 60 of the rad packs. So that's just my opinion, but on the game. It make it forces you to grind. And that's my opinion. So we got this whole way to go up through here, and it looks like it's roaches and uh, uh, it ain't gonna be too hard. Of course, it's uh, it's based upon an easier map at my levels. So my 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 character's levels are way high. I mean, this is probably based on like a level 20, level 15 to 20. Uh, persons and my character is all level 40 to a 40 a 42 and a 39 so and that's interesting there my mom just passed away her name was uh, carolyn sue russell my name is michael vance but mom back went back to her maiden name after my dad and well later after my mom remarried she didn't have luck ever so she went back to her maiden name and now she passed away with lung cancer she she was 78 so both my parents are gone and I guess, you know, I don't like it, but everybody's going to die if we come down to it. But I got characters in here named after my family, like my little brother's here, Rick Vance. That's my brother. He's the youngest of the brothers. And I got my brother Keith here. Uh, I don't know who this one is. This is just someone else. But I'm in it, and I got, I got, I name, you can rename your characters anything you want. So... Yeah, that's kind of fun to do. You can name them after your family. And my mom was a dandy. She was a... <laughs> she didn't take no crap, that's for sure. I didn't like the day standards, how kids were raised. <laughs> my mom, <laughs> she didn't let us get by with all the shit these kids today did. They're coddled today. Their baby pampered too much. They're given trophies for doing absolutely nothing. That guy's kind of right on Cobra Kai. I like that Cobra Kai. I've been watching it. It's an awesome show. He is right. Kids are too coddled. And uh, they give kids trophies just for showing up. I mean, it feels like they're going to offend everybody. Well, you know what? That's There's a problem in the world. And I think it's we're heading for a wrong direction. Everybody's afraid of offenses. It, you know, that, that don't help nobody. They just justify all this stuff, and sure, we should be good to one another, fine, but you don't have to coddle people. You don't have to wipe their asses, stick your nose up their rear end, and kiss their rear end. It's a free country where I'm at, and 
I have nothing wrong with people being religious. I have no problem with people being atheists. I have no problem with people owning guns. I have no people being free. But when you revite, cite violence and say you're peaceful, that's a problem. Peaceful demonstrating is not bashing people's windows in and destroying property. You deserve to be prosecuted, and possibility if you don't, if you resist, maybe even shot. If you resist, you run at a cop with a gun, I'd shoot you too. Just plain and simple. I've seen people run; they claim it's a, it's a, it's a problem. Yeah, it is a problem if a moron runs at a cop with a gun, and say, "No, I'm peaceful." Mm -hmm. These people don't know what peace are. A bunch of jokers in the world. Well, that thing's moving fast. But you can pick up a lot of surprise. It's a grind on this game. I think after you get to such a level, it's a it's a very big grind. That's the one thing I don't care for it too much about. And I've been grinding now for about a month. I got this certain level. Of course, you you can remember my other Fallout Shorter videos. It, it, it is a grind. Once you get so high of a p area, it, it is a bad grind. So, just saying. Whew. Oh no, and now we got these darn zombies. Morons. They can be hard. They can give you radiation poison. Uh, we'll keep an eye on her. Yeah, my mom, she died of lung cancer. I think I'm going to make a special video. Uh, I'm going to make a hunting video. My hunter called a while and dedicate it to my mother. Because, you know, I got a picture on Facebook of her with her with one of my last deer I killed with a bow. And she was, she was just found out she had cancer. And you could see she's very skinny. But she has a smile. And she fought it for six, seven years. That woman was strong, buddy. It, it, it drug her down to nothing. That's how strong that woman was. And you know what? Now she's at peace. She's at rest. She don't have to worry about suffering no more, you know. And that's the one thing I look at, you know. She ain't suffering no more. And she fought it all the way. She fought the good fight. And, uh, you know, mom was always my mom. No matter what, I always loved her and appreciated her. Dad, he was here and gone, man. Always tell your loved ones and your parents you love them. Don't grieve your parents love them and treat them with respect and dignity because one day they'll be gone and if you treat your family like crap you'll be responsible for it and you will reap the whirlwind you will reap terrible things if you're cruel to your parents hateful disobedient you will pay the price for it you know so make sure you treat your parents with respect show them you love them help them out be there for them when they need you and then if something should happen you can say hey you can hold your head high and say yep I was a good child I was a good daughter I was a good I was a good son I took care of my parents I listened to them I did I wasn't cruel to them I helped them out you don't have to be a pushover but you can you can surely help your parents like ask them if they need something help them with something mow their grass help help them with something take them to town take them shopping take them out to eat take them to church take them to whatever take them to something that they might like take them fishing Invite them to stay with you for a little while. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. It's good to good to be with your parents because one day they're not going to be there. One day they're going to be gone, regardless. Time, time is short for all. The older we get, the, nothing's guaranteed in life. And just take it from me. I'm thankful always I told my parents I loved them. I never was ashamed to tell them I loved them. And I was never ashamed to help them any time that they needed me. I would help them out with anything that they needed. So, you know, a lot of them, that's not love. That's something, something else. I don't know what it is. Something crazy. So if you have to prove to someone you love them by giving them this and doing that, that's not really love. So see, by going all the way in, I got that rad pack and I got that extra, uh, what a dump. <laughs> it is, ain't it? But, you know, what a dump. So, see, this only got me over a little over a thousand coins, and now I just returned to the vault. Vault. 
and that's what I got pretty much is two coke bottles which is speed and developing stuff and I got a thousand and I got two blueprints I think they're fragments I'll, that'll they'll give me extra coins but if it's only one bottle to get back I'll use it because I can always send them back out and you know if it's one bottle sure enough that'll be fine I can I can live with that I don't like the missions though where you gotta where you gotta yeah so it's just one so I'll, I'm just gonna send them back and then I'll collect all this garbage and I'll send them right back out on another one probably on that one so see some of these I've already collected and with that it gives you more coins you and you need that you really need that my friend so is if you look in if you look into the repertoire I don't need anymore so what I want to do is I probably want to go do this and right here with the box because the box can kind of help you out a lot so I want to kind of look for some heavy hitters with some heavy weapons now this Cora girl she's named after my grandmother Cora Ella Vance and Keith B is my brother oldest brother and of course mama and my dad's even in here I believe so I don't know where he's at Robert E I don't know where he is and there's another one of my mom I made a few of my mom <laughs> I made them before she even passed away Michael Jordan I named him Michael Jordan after Michael Jordan a basketball player but he ain't got a very good gun so I don't know if I want him or not <laughs> but uh, I might just see I might just send uh, let's see how many people I got I think I got several players so let's just go down through here and look at them. There's my great grandpa, Glenn G. So that's kind of cool. But you know, I got plenty of these powerful weapons. I can give him these, uh, give him this powerful weapon. And I can send him. I mean, I can give him a dog wasteland return speed. So we can kind of send them. So let's pump this up. Let's give them all the, all the, all the shoot making get. They got three, di two, three different guns. So they ought to be able to do well. And it's going to take a while to get back. So we'll just send them right into the wasteland. And uh, we'll get caps. What you want to watch for is Cappy and them. So let's go back here and look at this one. Now, here's another one. I got two of five sabotage and second stringers. Now, they've all got the... Now, this is my friend. She lives in the UK. It's alien. We'll, you have to use a radiation suit. So we'll, let's play this one. Because I've probably got enough... Uh, i probably got enough of the... Uh, things or I can run another run before I send another group out so always remember to you can save your energy and run don't want to send all them out at once now you can wait till they all catch up like it's going to be a several a day probably before they get there and I'll just wait now this is just one one little run so it probably ain't that hard it just probably ain't that hard and of course I gave her a super good gun so yeah I mean She's got a real good gun, so other than that, I hope she does well, but maybe she won't, you know, I don't know. I like to go through the whole thing, even though, you know, you can take shortcuts and this and that. I don't do that, really, you know. I don't, I don't really care for all that, so without, you know, explaining everything to you, you know, I just like to play the game and play it the best I can. Don't really worry about it. So it looks like she's going to have a pretty good gun to kill these people. And I mean, she's got plenty of, uh, I got plenty of med packs and stem packs for her. Uh, so that's good. The rad packs are when you get ra a radi radiology, radiation hits you, you know. But, you know, you got a radiation suit. So I don't know why they do get, you know, shot pieces. So when she gets the S, I'll, uh, uh, I'll have to give her a little bit of life, like... I'll wait a few minutes here. And it looks like it's going to take two, three times. So we'll give her a fill up. Hopefully we get a few med packs off from them. It looks like they got some pretty good guns. Uh, it just took them down a small bit. The guns, like I say, the guns ain't that great. Uh, he shot twice and that's what it's done to me. And my guns took him almost out. One more shot will probably kill him. Now I'm not going to use that because he's so low. It wouldn't make sense to do it. So, you got to kind of keep that in a position, you know. So, there's a lot of coins that are giving me. So, that's wonderful. Now, it depends what raises up. If it's the pig, yeah, I might take out the boss. There is a few of them. So, that'll probably knock him down pretty good. So, yeah. 
might have to take one stem pack every level every every area is what it looks like to me and there's two of them here looks like there's a fourth and fifth one coming in so it looks like they're they're coming in pretty doggone good so i want to give her another one see so we'll have to just keep an eye on that don't let it get down too low because uh you let it get down too low you know it can be disastrous. Cat said, heck with it. I'm getting out of here. Them pigs are mean. So see, it can go down pretty quick. You know. But it's okay. I got. I can make plenty of stem packs, Mike. It, it, it'll be alright. And hopefully we get some stem packs down, on down through here somewhere. So it looks like I'm going to probably... Them things take you down pretty doggone good. So, boom. Hit her another... Only got 20 stem packs. I hope they uh, hope they do their thing. Now it would make sense for me to do this. Now I would do it this way because it would take that one down. So yeah, well, something like that. Yeah. See, it takes them out pretty quick. Yeah. So it don't make sense to uh, get ahead of yourself there. So there's nothing here. So I'm going to go all the way back to this elevator here and come back through. Looks like a pretty big mat for what little I got. So that's going to be pretty tough. So yeah, this is a big area. So that's good. That's two of these Nimrods, which aren't that hard. Yeah, just keep an eye on your player. Don't let your player get down too below the S. Because if it gets down below the S, it's going to be hard to bring it back up. Of course just keep an eye don't let them die at least you know if you go down let it get down to the s and you can click left and give them a health pack like that see you don't want to get too low then you have to use maybe you might die and then then the game's over and i don't want to start all over and then you would probably lose your progress progress and all They just got machine guns. They ain't got like shotguns. Shotguns are more devastating on the characters. The cat's even involved in shooting and attacking. <laughs> That's funny. I'm not going to use it because see the character so low. You know, it don't make sense to do that. So that's good. Got a little bit of yarn. Uh, massive. <laughs> yeah. And now there's three of these dipstick. Hey, how you come you get to wear a radiation suit? The boss has us poisoning people with radioactive material. Least he could do is give us adequate protection. Maybe you should just leave the Raider clan. Alright. So they were pretty cool about it, so awesome. <laughs> they got they got lively so we can go up here and see what this secret room is well I thought it was I guess if you answer the wrong answer it could it can get violent it can really get violent if you give them the wrong wrong answer so keep that in mind at it that's gonna be a good hit yeah killed that one so yeah so we'll give her a little heal up he probably needs it. Yeah, he's going down. He's done. That will get that will get some more there. Nope, just the just one of them, and I probably already got it. So it looks like this room right here is going to get fixed up. But it looks like as far as it goes, right there. So more health packs. That tells me there's some zombies coming, or rad roach or something coming to to rate uh, radiate me in here so there's more pigs and they're always a pain and you know where the brewery in <laughs> but I wanted to put this video out there to show you that I am still playing it and I wanted to give you a little live action gameplay so I haven't done that I want, I've been mainly focusing on my uh, on the previous videos part one two and three I showed you more or less the grind of building your base so you know that's all I really did I didn't really get into the I might have done a couple easy runs but I didn't do nothing major not since I built my uh, base up 
you know, build it up to work and send out three different people at one time. That made that changed the whole whole thing of it. You know, so it's up to seven. I mean, I'm up to seventeen two thousand coins. But I, you know, when someone's got a hundred and seven, hundred and six, you know, it don't seem to really matter. I like to highlight her. That way, I keep it makes me forces me to keep an eye on her life there under her name, and it kind of lets me keep an eye idea of what's going on with her so now we'll use it heck yeah goodbye mr. mustache so good more so we're on the bottom tier and then we got 224 I don't know how many how much materials we got I don't know if we got much materials or not I don't really remember so here's one in well 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 look what the rad roaches dragged in <laughs> You're too late. We use very low dose to avoid detection. We dead in a matter of decades. Wahaha. You won't get away with this. It's actually Yeah, so now I gotta pick these butt heads on, so. So let's attack him. I think he's the main uh, main one you want to take out. He's usually the toughest character. Like if they're level tens, I guarantee you he is a level, a couple, a level or two ahead of them. So you know, you always want to take talk tack the main boss. So, so you gotta be careful you don't get too low. So he's gone. Now now you can just take your time and take out the one. This this will end the boss battle and this will end the map. If you want to leave, you can. I'm not going to though. I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue on with the map because there's always usually goodies. So she's gone. So see that other guy is usually the one with the skull on us, the little heavier hitter. He's, and they're also a little higher level. Better better damage too. I'll, I'll give you that. So this one's dead too. So it looks like it's over. So I got my bolt tech box. So that's good. Now I got a shotgun and all that good stuff, and up to three thousand coins, so it's completed. But I, but like I say, I always finish them. I don't just quit and say I'm done. I just don't do that. I don't like to do that because you you can collect a whole bunch of extra stuff. What's the use playing if you're not going to finish it out? If if you got plenty of life and playing med packs, go ahead and finish out the remainder of it. You can get some extra goodies to build stuff. And extra XP to level up your character. See, I'm already level 43 now. So it's getting kind of low. I'll go ahead and hit myself there. Because I got plenty of stem packs. I can build more when I get her home. And then I can probably and send out anybody you want. Any level you want. I'll probably keep her. I might put her in a different outfit, though. I might get rid of some of the outfits, too. Because all they do is take up room and get some of the weak guns. I'll keep these kind of guns. Because they're, they're good. So... Well, I agreed to leave the vault, but I ain't because I'm going to finish this up. So it's going to be some probably them roaches. So they're they're pretty easy. A couple shots will kill them. A couple rounds each will pretty much do them in. Like almost done him in that first time. Once he shoots, it probably there's only two of them I think. And there's some goodies in here. There's at least two loot boxes, little boxes in here to loot. One more time and he'll be over. I wish my cat would snack, knock a heck out of him. And I'll go ahead and throw her up right there. One more shot and it's over with. So there it is. It's over. That's over with. But as I imagine, it's worse. <laughs> so yeah, see, it gave me some stem packs. See, so it added two my stem packs. All right. So now we can uh, we can get take this person home. It'll probably if it only takes. Uh, See, so there's a couple recipes. Probably got them, but I got an ex a, a box, too. Now, you can save them boxes as long as you want. I don't really need to open them. So you can save them, but we'll open it for, for fun's sake. Especially if I can get there in one. I won't go unless it's one or two bottles to get. I'm not going to do it if it's five, six, ten bottles. You can forget that. Yeah, so it's only one bottle. That's fine. Confirmed one bottle. I mean, no problem. Uh, it's pretty easy collect all the goodies and collect extra so see we're up to 100 and boom just like that so see we got like a, almost it gives you like a thousand of them 
So see, it, that's cranking me up. And it's getting a whole bunch of coins there for the fragments. Wow. That's cool. Now see, now I got these extra boxes. See, I'm still up the level. So let's go ahead and open that, like as promised. Vault Tech box. And we got that. That's not very cool. Med pack ain't important. The globe's kind of cool. You use it to build super weapons. Uh, I hope it's a good... No, it's 500 coins, so I'll take the 500 any day. So we'll go up here, and I've upgraded it fully. But I thought about looking for a different one to go on. I'm not really ready. See, this is one dweller in a level 39, so I'm going to wait till I get up to level 40 to do that. That's probably... This is probably one of the easiest ones we could send out. And that one ain't too bad either. So, I can send a high level on this one, and I can send a pretty good level on this one. Because, see, I got several, uh, I got high level lab coats that I can send out, and I got high level weapons I can let them use, especially this guy. And no dogs, but you know that's that's okay. I can I can I can swing that, and I can give her one of them. Let's go ahead and give them a bunch of a bunch of uh, stem packs. Get them ready, and we're going to find one one guy that's already in. So I don't know what I'm going to do. You want to look for science? Yeah. There, now there's a science person. We could send out Barbara because she's already got the lab coat on. And we can just give her a high-end weapon. Uh, that's probably the highest weapon I've seen right there. Uh, yeah, so... That 16 ain't bad. That 17 is even better. Oh, that's even better right there, that 17, 19. So, we'll definitely give her that. And see, we can send them out. And now they're going on their merry old way. So... Since you ain't got no, since I ain't got no more packs, you can definitely go up over here to where the packs are, and you can go over here. Since it's level 16, you sh it should give me a crap load of them. So it should have gave me pretty much built me back up. So you can go back in there and activate them, and they should give you. See that failed now. That means they're going to have to. They got a fight coming with a rad scorpion. So they're definitely going to have to get into it now. And most of them got pretty good weapons. But they're, they are getting irradiated. So. So they wipe them out. They wipe them out pretty quickly. Now you could take your rad packs and fix them. But I'm not going to. They will heal up on their own. They will heal up fine on their own. All you got to do is make sure you get rid of that radiation on them. I'm not worried about the radiation as much. Unless one's extremely low, you know, and, and you want to go down here and look at these guys that's leveling up. You want to make sure you get all that. And you want to watch for Cappy. Cappy and the bottle will come, and when they come, that's when you can really get some more stuff. So, as you can see, I got my three people out. These are traveling. They'll be there in 13 hours or more, and then we'll be there in 19 hours. So, see, I'll, I'll first play this in here. And I'll let them come back to some more caps. Send these guys out. Then he's got... I'll let these go to the, get about 4,000, 5,000 caps. He's getting closer, this robot here, Mr. Handy. But this Mr. Handy's on his way back, and he's limited out. So I'm sure not going to use the 12 bottles to get him home. He'll be back in a day. So we'll get him then. So until then, <clears throat> that's pretty much it. I, all I wanted to show you... Uh, you can play the game without buying anything. You can buy a few low-end bottles and a few loot boxes. And I always I bought a few Mr. Handies for 99 cents. I bought several of them. There's some on my base everywhere, just gathering up stuff. So that's kind of cool. But I I send I send out three. Seeing he's about ready to be destroyed. So when he does get destroyed, you can just revive him. And he'll continue. He'll continue home. If he gets destroyed, you can just say revive and he'll continue on his journey home. No big worry. Don't worry about it. And when you close, make sure that you go like that and you hit save your game first. Don't ever just close out the game through the PlayStation management. Then go to main menu and now you can close it out. So thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'll, I'll put a few more videos out there on Fallout later. As I get up further and do a few more things, uh, 
maybe we'll work on uh, showing you how to build up your character's level. Hey, again, thanks for watching. Have a good one.